You often hear in speeches and in the dedication of books men saying, could not have done this without my wife. And uh, much of the time that's absolutely true. Men do benefit significantly from marriage. Uh, George Gildram made this point dramatically in his book Men and Marriage. At the moment I'm reading the book Committed by Elizabeth Gilbert. She wrote the bestseller Eat, Pray, Love. And uh, she writes, if you were a man, the smartest decision you can possibly make for yourself is to uh, get married. Married men perform dazzlingly better in life than single men. Married men live longer than single men. Married men accumulate more wealth than single men. Married men excel at their careers above single men. Married men are far less likely to die a violent death than single men. Married men report themselves to be much happier than single men. And married men suffer less from alcoholism, drug addiction, and depression than do single men. Aha, but what about women? Modern married women do not fare better in life than their single counterparts. Married women in America do not live longer than single women. Married women do not accumulate as much wealth as single women. Take a 7% cut on average just for getting married. Married women do not thrive in their careers to the extent that single women do. Married women are significantly less healthy than single women. Married women are more likely to suffer from depression than single women. Married women are more likely to die a violent death than single women usually at the hands of a husband, which raises the grim reality that, statistically speaking, the most dangerous person in the average woman's life is her own man.